Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Hello Sagittarius, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs as well as the Cross Watcher of the Sag. And we are going to be pulling some past life oracle cards for you guys and see what the energy sort of is and unfolds. Wow, you have unrequited love. This has a vibration of in the past. You never could get your hands on exactly what it was you wanted. There's this feeling of, and it could have been just one past life that has happened like this. You know, it doesn't mean it's all of them. Oh, the dreaded, oh, since I had all fucked up past lives. It doesn't mean that. But this particular one, if it wasn't a running theme, was that of feeling left out. She feels like a wallflower, if you know what I'm saying, where this particular person here, they may not have been the first choice in group settings. Do you see what I'm saying? There is sort of like a stigma to it, a trauma, a, a trigger to it, where this person feels like they've missed out. I've missed out. This feels like... I don't know. what real love is. This person feels like you are this other person, okay, your divine counterpart or your person of interest. They don't know what real mutual love feels like. And so this is something that's carried forth possibly in this life where it could have been a repeat pattern of being attracted to people or situations that it wouldn't have been reciprocated. And it's sort of that energy being comfortable for a person to be in an unrequited or, and it even could be subconscious, like not even consciously you're trying to like meet people and fall in love with people that won't give you their heart or won't reciprocate. It could be an unconscious thing as well. There is this sense of needing to make peace with that was that lifetime. That's not now. You are not the last choice. You are going to be somebody's first choice. You are somebody's first round pick, if you will, okay? You're, you're the top draft. The number one person that's, you know, the, ah, the, the, to somebody. You also have your transportation as I'm hearing a big truck driving by. This transportation has a train the train here can symbolize in transit. This could also be a very particular time period when, you know, there was no, uh, there's no planes, no cars that were, you know, readily available. The mode of transportation was horse or train. <clears throat> there's a sense here of somebody also waiting for someone to arrive, waiting for someone to come, and they didn't. So there's a sense of deep loss and disappointment and sorrow. Now, why did they not show? That would be very different. For some, they didn't show because they got killed and then like the, 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 met, the mail, the letter didn't come. Couldn't just call and be like, oh, hey, or check their social media, you know, or like whatever. It was snail mail. So the unrequited love can also come from the fact that feeling like not necessarily that for many of you, you weren't chosen or there was no love, but the love couldn't like be, it wasn't fruitful in whatever reasons. They chose differently or they died or they never showed up. There's this feeling of someone here feeling as if they've always been waiting, waiting to be picked, waiting to be called, waiting to receive a message, waiting to, waiting for someone to arrive. and it feels quite intense. Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, judgment. 
something comes back around. I heard the ghost is back. See how they're rising up from the dead? Judgment is a final decision, right? Obviously, but it's also rebirth. It's awakening. It's hearing the call, doo, 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 and they rise. He is risen. This is the week of, of, of fucking Easter. He is risen, honey. Is this someone from the past, the ghost from the past is coming back? Wow, hmm, that could very well be what it is. This person that someone here was waiting for in a past life that never showed, showing up in this life. Queen of Wands is, like I said, fire. Aries Leo Sag. So, you know, clearly that could be you guys. But it also is the energy of the divine feminine in her raw power. She might be defensive when love comes in. She's not going to know, oh my God, it's the ghost of who he used to be. She may not know that. She might just feel like, why do I feel this pull, this call, this this feeling? I'm feeling like in love. Oh my God. And then sort of being defensive about it. Two of Pentacles. I heard unsteady. They make you feel unsteady. This love that comes in or has already arrived, however it works for each of you, this love that comes in or arrives, it makes somebody feel unsteady. Knocks them off their feet. Leo strength it's like the strength gets sucked out of them eight of pentacles see she can't get over this see it fell over here it's 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 a loop they won't arrive it won't happen it's not gonna work it's not gonna line up they won't choose me it's not gonna happen waiting waiting running it through their head running it through their head eight of wands there is a message somebody's gonna be receiving a message Six of Swords. Six of Swords is moving on. It is oh, also arriving. Holy fuck, something's arriving. Wheel of Fortune. A destined and fated encounter. That's fortune and luck. I'm doing your reading today on April 12th. And it is one of the luckiest days ever. It's like a once in a lifetime sort of an energy as far as vibrations and alignment and planets. Today is the great conjunction. It is when Neptune and Jupiter are conjunct in Pisces. And it is literally one of the most magical, powerful days to manifest. I've got my candles burning right now. I've been putting my intentions on into the universe. Later, before I go to sleep, I'm going to journal and write it down. A huge fucking powerful day. It's the last one we had was 166 years ago when Neptune and Jupiter was in Pisces. There's Pisces energy on the bottom of the deck, the moon. Moon is also secrets and it's what you don't see coming. You don't see this coming or you don't see them coming back. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's so like, ooh. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, Destined Faded. And I've been waiting for a girl like you. Someone's been waiting. I waited a thousand years. You know, that kind of like. card of union 1111 new beginnings a twin flame number 1111 fell on unrequited love oh my goodness it ain't over till it's over the soul says i'm coming home i'm coming six of pentacles are you ready to receive are you in a place of being open and receptive or are you not are you skeptical are you like eh? The end is the beginning. The beginning is just the end. Remember in The Mummy, he says at the very end, death is just the beginning. I swear to God, it feels like it's a ghost that's coming back from a past life. It, it, it didn't line up for the two of you guys in a past life. Whatever the reason is, now the souls have reincarnated and now here they are again. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wands. This is being defensive. This is blocking something out, fighting it off. That could be when they come. And you just, it's not like, like I said, most of you, 99% of you are not going to be like, it's the one from that past life that just didn't happen, whatever. You're going to just find yourself triggered. You'll find yourself defensive. You'll find yourself clamming up and standoffish and, or whatever it's going to be. You know, it's going to come out in different ways. But, <sighs> oh boy. The chaser, fear of abandonment. I wonder why. 
It comes from that for many of you. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. See, that's how it can come. It might come to you when you're just having the time of your fucking life, not even looking for love. And then it comes and you go, bye bye, girl bye. It's gonna sneak in. Wow, that fucking flew. The situation will improve. See that light that she is sort of rising up towards, the light at the end of the tunnel? I mean, the illusion is that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, right? They say you are the light, be the light. But in this case, there also is sort of like, what it symbolizes is a solution to something that's coming, a solution to a problem or an issue. Something could come to light that could help this situation. Are you fucking serious? That flew over there. Hold on. I'm sorry about that. Shit. I hate when I gotta bend down in non-sexual ways. <laughs> Look, yes, exclamation mark. In the near future. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, we're gonna get into your extended. If you would like to rent it, click on that upside down triangle below. It's gonna take you to the description page here on YouTube. There's gonna be a link at the very top. Click on the link, it'll take you to my website. It's gonna be located in the Zodiac Intimate Extended section. Also in that description box below is another link to my Patreon. If you love erotic tarot readings, I do them there. I also do bonus readings on Patreon for the patrons there. So I wanna thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. Do not be duped by the people over there pretending to be me. I don't have backups, I don't have multiple accounts there, and I most certainly would not reach out to you and message you and DM you and ask if you want a reading. I would never solicit you. You guys know how it works. You come to us as healers, as light workers. So don't get scammed, don't get duped, don't engage in the DMs with these people. Don't fucking add them, delete them and block and report, okay? All right, I'll see you in your extended. Love you.